Xiaofeng has recently been playing through that he can look to execute on. And then when it leans into those uh, later skirmishes, you have the Viego who's really strong. And the round out is going to come through with the Zoe from... Yeah, and I think right now with the early priority from Ale in the top lane that you typically expect... Oh, taking a bit of a rough trade, but usually Gwen has a good level one, so you tend to find priority initially. But actually, as I'm saying this, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Is yeah, a little bit of a disaster. Oh, and... no. Oh, God, it's all falling apart already. Uh, not actually having the best time in this matchup against Volibear as well. So oh. it definitely feels like Xiaopeng is leaning towards his top side. And if this spear hits, I think you have to wait for the wave to push in just because obviously uh, the Gwen can use her W to block away the spear. But we're keeping this. Oh, no, it next. hit. Xiaopeng surely gets a kill here. W should be available for Ally. They're going to try and make the dive happen. Lunch Shane coming. <laughs> towards bot lane and on actually prioritizing the herald here i'm not sure how i feel about this decision because i feel like the dragon Go back to farming things up feels like a good start for lng but ultimately tt not falling too far Ooh. behind spear in onto icon he's in trouble here does get a w flash but he's taking i think tt are handling the city game fine oh fates call over the wall but Xiao Peng, i don't know if he heard it i don't know what happened it doesn't matter because it's nautilus he will go down that could be a target for them as LNG might have overpushed in this bottom side here. Light having to use the heal for the speed, but he doesn't actually get it. Anyway, flashes away from the ulti. Iwandi onto the wall. Has flash available himself as well. Dodges the spear. Oh, and now a TP to turn things around. It's a perfect max range hook onto Xiao Pong. And a stopwatch to bait it on top of everything. LNG played this perfectly. And now TT trying to get themselves under the tower. They should be able to escape, but just baited and outsmarted. Just a bit of an overforce there from the side of TT. They did turn about that. You can see they're trying to fire over the wall here, but there's no way they can move in on this and contest it. They're too far behind. The skirmishing power too strong from LNG and Icon fishing in this situation. I think TT should just back off now. Yeah, he's toying with the idea. Oh no. As he does manage to get a sleep coming on through the hook. He's there and instantly patch is gone. Fine coming out from TT though. They want to contest Shabba. Getting onto the back line. Icon escapes Tarzan with a lot of healing will go down here. TT are spiking, at least short term here, and maybe could find an opportunity, but it doesn't look like they're interested in trying to fight for the Herald here. Tower. A lot of sustain, and then he's going to hit a similar power curve compared to Ezreal. That's one of the big things, is that we typically see a lot of AD carries, the crit ones looking towards... I just want to quickly mention, is you see Icon has heal right now. I'm not sure if he has heal or not, but there is currently a bug with Zoe where after you've used your spell... Sleepy Trouble Bubble Connects, but it's going to use the Rift Trail to get this tower down. And LNG doing a really good job of applying this pressure. He's in a pretty good spot. I think Yeah's in a pretty good spot. These carries need to stay alive, and I think LNG's goal is to shut them down as soon as possible. Hook comes in. Iwandi on the front line does have Aftershock in immediately. Yeah, it's From just a point to try and stop the bleeding. Yeah, it's only second dragon. Oh, they're looking for engage. Oh, hang on. Light's gone too far forward. Does have a bit of life still, but not enough to deal with the bear. Lunching wants this game for himself as he pushes for more. window onto Light. So credit to him for stepping up in this one. And actually, I thought that dragon was basically gone, but they're actually able to secure. Feels like, feels like they're very overconfident and getting a little bit sloppy in this game as tier two will be taken down in the mid lane. Ali does take He's known for being able to really threaten on those kinds of objectives. Do you, do you think LNG could look towards threatening a Baron? Obviously, maybe not right now since Drake's... Anywhere they're near that dragon because there's no way for them to push in and try and contest that vision without face checking. Yeah. And it realizes what's up, dashes away, but this will be a tier two taken by LNG. And I just want to, I want to take a... Strong right now, so play the range. Do not try and get in uh, up close and personal because light will oh. tight. We've got spear on spear action between the two junglers here as the rest of the fight kicks off from Lanxing. Just not tanky enough. Tarzan jumps in. There's a root coming through as well. Beautifully done as double kill comes through for Ale. And unfortunately, it's a little bit disjointed from TT. Xiaopong is forced away by Ale as Lanxing goes on to the rest of the team. And it feels like there just wasn't any follow-up. It just feels like you don't need to necessarily look for that engage from TT. These tight skirmishes really benefit LNG. Oh, and no. Oh, you're gone. Bubble comes through onto Tarzan. Oh, my days. Icon with three items. That's a rise of focus right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's what that item does. Yeah, and oh, I, no, I mean, yeah. it's just all He's starting gone. to fall apart now. The fight was bad, but now LNG chaining kills together on the back of that. And I think... 
You were talking a lot about the Baron, Joe. This is probably the window that you're looking for. You can see the vision kind of already swept out on that top side. And Icon is just playing disruption here, stopping anyone from getting close. And this is Zoe's so playground, that right? Where you can just throw your bubbles out, throw your paddle stars out. Yeah, there's one ward vaguely nearby, but it's just not going to matter at all. They, they're going to be able to spot it. And... A lot of pressure now. He, he... Oh, oh right. my oh god. My he didn't even have a bubble. What is that from Icon? He is taking over. He is angry for all the ganks that Shaofan threw his way during the early stages of the game, and he wants a little bit of vengeance for himself as we move towards the bottom side. This will be an in here take. Tarzan's in the mid lane. In the meantime, as Ale on the front line, happy to do so with his shroud. He's pretty safe. And this long owl team fight is not really going to work out for TT. We said they wanted longer fights, but not like this, Dan. Not like this. Now onto the next they could go as Icon is on the front line and actually will survive somehow. I'm not entirely sure how he got away with that one, honestly, but it doesn't matter. It was a longer one than we expected, but at the end of the day, LNG take the first game. Find yeah. a fair bit, but you can see an instant response with the Lucian coming in. So I feel like as far as sort of mid lane picks go, Lucian tends to be one that can sort of thing tends to be someone who's particularly guilty of this. But I think this is a scenario where he's set up to fail because Lee Sin into Nar is an awful matchup. Sorry, Lucian into Nar. I can't get baited in the mid lane here. In goes Shao Punk to try and finish the kill off flash Ooh. forward and Shao Punk. On the Get. set. The big issue is your huh. lack of mobility here. Oh, Tarzan. Nice dodge. Misses the first Electro Harpoon. We do have a LeBlanc coming in. Tarzan flashes away from the distortion. That was beautiful. Oh, the solo lane is coming in. Yeah, Shaopong. He's gonna. Shaopong's already here. Set over the wall. Ale is here as well. Lunching is moving in. Tarzan low on HP. Overheats. Gets the blue buff. Can he get out? Yeah. Jumps in, Ignite ticking away. In fact, no, there is no Ignite. Langshing over the wall, but surely he's killed himself for this one. Flashes back on Ooh, out. Flash. Maybe TT winning the situation. In they go. Icon in trouble here, low HP. Haymaker, I don't know if it's on cooldown right now. Yeah, looking to make a way over the wall once again. Ally's still full HP right now. He's just walking at them. 1v3, Ally has no fear. The ward goes down into the brush to try and deny vision, but over the wall he goes. Shaopong desperately running. Ally against the world. And he comes out on top. Top. But now the fight continues. It's on to Icon they go. Xiaopeng gets another kill. And TT come out 2-0. Suddenly Ale realizes he might have gone too deep on this one. Yeah, jumps in onto him. But Ale gets the kill. 2v1. On our hands here. Tarzan just hit level 6 though. This is the moment to make the play. Lunching. Low on HP already. In comes Xiaopeng to try and turn the fight around. And he has some damage and a half. But that's going to be a shutdown for Tarzan. He's looking for a second as well. Doesn't have his flash available. The minion blocks the half. Very even. I mean, dead even in goal right now between these two teams. Oh, a little engage coming out from Icon in the mid lane, and he knows he has the sustain to go for this, but he does have a jungler in his lane as well. Showstopper in! And I'm pretty sure he just saved, yeah. I'm pretty sure he just got, yeah, out to safety there. As uh, Tarzan has just arrived, but maybe he was trying to do it in the other, other direction and just couldn't quite get it off. I mean, this is game one MVP Icon looking... Oh. Oh, Ignite's I available. What? He's going for the dubstep Ignite. Uh, He's going for the solo kill on T. Yeah. Wait, is he out? He gets the quickness. No way does he dodge this. Try to zigzag. Try to dodge. Xiaopong no. is just going to walk into melee right this thing right here. That's the kind of gameplay we're looking at today. As Icon and Tarzan are here to try and contest the Herald. I want these moved over. You can see Light on the way, but that's already a kill onto Ally. And LNG, uh, what? Here's the thing, right? With pretty much any other team, I would say this is a win. Oh, knockup comes through. True shot barrage across the team as well. This is looking good. Equalizer is not going to be enough from Tarzan. Yeah, this Leona, you know, the Karma game didn't really see too much of him, but here he is going into these aggressive situations, and the pairing with Xiaofeng means they can find a pretty easy kill. But you know, I just have to say even towards top side, but. Either way, using this Herald, get the tower and transition it. Oh, engage comes oh, in. Here we go. Equalizer onto Lunching as well. Ally should be able to survive this one as Lunching falls. And Tarzan just goes in, but Ally flashes away from it. Tarzan's yeah. the target. In fact, it was Xiaopong that went in. Yeah, I will answer, and Xiaopong, he's got a 400 gold bounty. This would be the perfect pickup for Ally if they can finish the kill, but 
And Wonder gets the engage. There isn't really any damage to follow up. Ale is there for him to jump to. Icon trying to chase this one. Iwandi blocking the Q. Xiaopong trying to get out now. Yeah, is there to support the player as well, but he's just show stopped and finished off. Light is now here as well. He's still the up. Chain of Corruption misses though. Yeah, managed to get out with his life. And Xiaopong now in a one versus three. Flashes out for himself. Can Iwandi close the gap? I don't think- Front loaded damage, but if you actually watch, the distortion comes out. Oh, as I'm saying this, another kill. Uh, yeah, TT continuing yeah. to apply that pressure. So do not say that, right? We Look, have, Orcs, don't mention the W word. With success. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know, Maybe they, it's possible. Hoping, right, and believing. But we've had these scenarios before where it's looked good and they've thrown it all away. So just don't mention it until the Nexus goes down. They're in a good spot, okay? They're in a good spot. There's definitely potential. But there's still a lot of game to go, you know, we're only 15 minutes in. And again, LNG, we showed in the stats before the game, they're typically behind at 15 minutes. It's what happens after <laughs> yeah. that. Where they're typically like to go 100 well. gold behind in <laughs> 15 minutes, <laughs> not, not 5,000. That's not quite the same story. You know, story. 100, 5,000, who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> and let's be honest, the gold lead almost exclusively on Xiaopong. He's got nine kills. Yep. If you take Xiaofeng out of the equation, if he gets picked off, actually the gold lead pretty much doesn't exist in this game. So Xiaofeng has a lot of weight on his shoulders in this game to be the carry for his team as Ally pushing in this bottom side. And LNG looking to get some of this standing gold off the top of the map. Icon is going to be playing um, up towards there to wait the wave for the tier two in the top lane as the Herald will go down mid. Sam D should be able to finish this tower off. Look at LNG moving across the map, though, to answer this and make sure they don't lose a tier two as Icon mm. getting dived. He didn't even have a chance to use his W. He just got popped by, yeah. Xiaopong can move up. This is going to be a tier two taken. Yeah, I really like this from TT. They stack the wave. They put the pressure mid, but they just throw the Herald down and rotate up. 13 to 5. And I'm just hoping we get to see it continuing, but LNG have found an opportunity onto Yeah here. The double distort and the flash is not going to be enough. I think is going to contest this one. They're just going to accept that can't happen. And instead, settle for a tier one in the top side. Even the mountain's giving you that extra survivability, but there's a lot of scenarios I can see where, you know, if you get set ulted into a rumble ult, the own and punish them, LNG want a grouped wombo combo. That's simple. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I want is the target that you want to go for. Shao Fung, he gets the kick up, but he goes down. And this is shut down to Tarzan. Now, the rest of the fight, Gold Lead coming into its own here. Lunching, looking to finish more members off, but Icon gets it. Yeah, Patch needs to run interruption. The TP is actually coming in here, but they're not contesting. I don't think they can get close. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get close this one. The Ocean Soul secured. 1,000 gold death for an Ocean Drake right oh. there. Oh. Ale is no more. On the bottom side as well. Yeah, who's going to answer? You can see actually light moving over, but the difference is Longsheng and yeah, both. of LNG from Spring is rearing its ugly head once again. Now the contest is Icon is over the wall. Patch trying to zone Iwandi. Tarzan can't even get close to try and go for a spy still here. This is going to go the way of TT, oh, who are Patch stepping up and going a little far here. Watch out for the equalizer from Tarzan. It feels like he's the one that has and to... And the top wave is pushing in, though. You can see they stack that one up well, so oh. eventually there'll come a pressure point where someone's going to have to deal with that. But these two waves on the bot side are doing so much. Mega Nar from Longsheng zoning Ale away, and the tower is getting chunked. It certainly is. This is looking like inhibs. <laughs> Ale once again goes down. And the solo laners for LNG have just not been able to live up to this game right here. This will be minimum two inhibs, but TT might just look for the game. A pick onto Ale might be everything that they needed. He's one and six this game as TT looked for more. Xiaopeng has been the man of the hour. Equalizer across the minion wave, but it just won't be enough to clear it. Lanshik about to turn Mega on the back line, and TT might be able to break their curse. They might be able to finish their first win of the LPL split so far. In they go, Mega Nara to the back line. They're finishing off the kills. Icon tanking up as much as he can, but he goes down, and Lanshik is an absolute monster on the this back line. The Nexus will fall and TT grab themselves a W. The thing Maybe pick something that's going to cause issues. I've actually no seen the Zerg come out. Did All right, we've got a Rek'Sai. we got a Zerg. <laughs> this game is, game? is fighting Easy. with that TP, allowing him to go for a lost chapter on his first recall with that Dark Seal that we talked game. Very skirmish focused, but if LNG are leading to a team fight, 
this will pay off for them and it really comes down to TT to set the pace where yeah actually is able to push a wave in and they can turn it into a Drake patch could be in trouble though the stun comes in and well there's not much of a way out and an AD that. carry something that like wants to yeah. be on the back line and I'm not sure TT really have that with the Ezreal and the Rek'Sai but they're gonna test it out in this team All fight right. We'll have to see if it's going to be good enough. Xiaofeng is the guy to keep your eyes on. The smite is too early, though, and Tarzan gets it now. Ults across the fight. In goes launching onto the back line. He's got a lot of threat, but he doesn't have any damage here. As LNG starts to kite back, Tarzan on this front line might be the first to go down in the fray. Xiaofeng jumps into the back of everyone, Ooh. but he's stunned and just immediately blown Honestly, up. Honestly, this decision's coming out from, uh, from Xiaofeng a little bit in. But in the end, it is a one-for-one. One. They do manage to translate into a... Tech. I mean, to be fair to him, he did nearly finish Ali. Um, but really nice stun coming out from Icon to deny that. Play, we're going to be trading tier ones across the map here. Going down at almost exactly the same Sarah, time. If you take out that mid-tier one, you can shove pretty deep and force TT back get any of this poke down from the Zerath that we've been talking about. Everyone's still healthy on TT. And it means this will be a third Drake in the game for them. Now from so light. It's going to be Tarzan in the mid lane to try and protect this tower. It's on literally one HP. But it will survive yeah, for now. Gone, I won threatening as well. Yeah, just walks in. Feels like the tension is high. But TT, they're going to respect the rules. They're going to accept that they cannot fight for this one right now. And I think TT know they can't really threaten the Baron right now with yeah. all members of LNG up on the map. So they'll take top tower and they'll go for a reset. And this should just cost them that mid lane tier two. Yeah, Light has gone for the red buff though. So without an AD carry, it looks like they will still have enough damage to Tarzan and Ally there. I we'll mean, be I don't think you're taking this tower when Icon's there. Well, TT Although, have other ideas, Mr. Orcs. Call yourself a color caster. Side jungle of LNG. You see they've already scattered down at an award. They are going for the reset, and I think they want to reestablish again. If hey, TT I don't want to get too philosophical on you, but we all know the story. The hare and the tortoise. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? The tortoise wins it at the end of the day. But it damage onto Lion Shing. That's half of his health gone. Right before Drake comes up, remember, this is soul point for TT. If they can get this Drake, that will be the cloud soul for them. Certainly not a game ender, but remember, light on the Callistic. He's stacking those Rens up. It's going to be difficult for Xiaopeng to win a smite fight in this situation, but the Drake on 3,000. LNG not quite willing to commit to it. Looking for a fight in the back line. Ale goes in. Would you a killer? We might just get one for ourselves. Patch taking down, flashes away though. Icon off of the back line as well. He gets out with his life. Xiaopeng chasing him. True shot barrage across the whole team. We've got a few near kills. And that might be as good as it gets, but Iwandi oh. has a stopwatch, keeps himself alive, flash available, can't get over the wall, got he goes down, we've got a kill! A kill actually happened, a patch goes down, that's two supports for the price of one! The shot's okay. coming in, onto TT as they go back onto the Drake, and I think this isn't done just yet, as Ale looking for a re-engage, into the pit he goes, it's going to be a smite fight, 9 HP and LNG get the Drake for themselves, Xiaopeng goes down, and TT! TT, uh, into a choke, sorry, so they back away, but... You know, I'm still talking. The replay's still going. We got another fight on our hands, Joe. All right. They're looking to make up for lost time. Tarzan is real low in the pit right now. He's in big trouble. In goes Lone Shing. This is the perfect fight for TT. But the knockup on the light. Fight line. Sam D's in trouble. The shot's coming in light on the fight line. One HP and he survives. Yeah, chases him down. Finishes the kill. But at the cost of his own life, surely. As he gets into the jungle, gets the shield, gets out. Manages to survive for now. TT re-engaging. Uh, it's complete chaos. And TT, they've actually come out on top. Yeah, I mean, TT managed to find it and somehow, yeah, survives on like one HP there. Super messy fighting coming out. And like you said, they are making up for lost time here. Both teams skirmishing like crazy. The difference in this one, though, we see Icon go down. The Zerath gets taken out. And as a result, TT actually able to find some success. Man, what a Ali mess, though. Ali playing with fire there. Yeah, TP channel by Icon. He's back in the fray once again. Xiaopeng into the pit. He went too early to try and go for the smite fight. Light stacking up the rents in the meantime. Showstopper into the fight from Ale. Gets onto the back line. Can they finish this one off? Xiaopeng is there onto Icon. Zonyas comes out. Lan Xing is on the back line as well. But Ale and Xiaopeng fighting up on the top side of this one. Lan Xing turns golden. Icon gets out with his life. This fight is the longest in the history of the game as Ale finally falls. It's a kill for TT and they want a bit more as well. True Ooh. shot barrage. Iwandi barely gets out. Gets to the other side of the minion wave. The Prey Seeker won't be there. Light is there. Tarzan is there. Icon's recalling in the enemy jungle right now. Back it's fine there. I am amazed. It only came away with one. Struggling to find safety. 
in these ones. Now, Baron started. TP available for LA, and he's up in seven seconds. Oh, TP behind the team of LNG, though. Lunching, looking to make an impact in this game. I want to pulled out by the face called knockups across the team. LA TP and in onto the backline. Yeah, going to be knocked up. Sans There's the shots in from Icon, but Lunching gets onto him in the backline. Xiaopeng is huge. Lunching is huge, but not huge enough. Ali saves the day, gets onto Lunching. That's three kills for LNG. Oh, he's and, and Sam D just completely caught out of position. Two supports was not enough to save him in that one. We'll get it for all things considered, it, it doesn't really change the state of the game very much. The gold, very unsubstantial <laughs> at the moment, and the impact on the map is limited. Oh. Now, Gage coming in mid. Yeah, pick onto Ale here. Showstoppers to try and get himself out to safety. Haymaker could be available here for him. Gets himself a small shield. He's just trying to buy time. He's trying to survive if he can. Deadman's bike kick it in. <laughs> they do chase so him down. risky right now, even with Ale down. Might give it a go. And actually, it looks like just the threat of the dive is enough to push them away. Yeah. Icon can't even get range okay. to clear this wave out, so they're never going to go. They threaten the dive, and it works out. Now, LNG. The LNG won the contest. Orcs, tell me, what do we got to look out for when this fight kicks off? Does Icon survive? Can he get the damage off? And Sam D, those two are the main carries in this situation. All right, keeping my eyes on Icon, on Sam D. We'll see if these carries can survive for the rest of the teams. If they can peel in, goes Lanshing. Keep your eyes on Light at the back line, dancing around, trying to get the stacks up onto Lanshing. Icon still going strong on the back side as Ally gets onto the back line himself. Pulls in Sam D for the rest of the team, not following up with the damage. Lanshing going low. Haymaker across the team, but Ally first to fall. TT going strong. Still five members here. Is Tarzan on the front line, trying to keep himself alive. Shots out from Icon, but he just isn't able to do it. Now the volley's coming on in. Can he finish Sam D? He does get him into the GA, but he can't finish the kill. There's one down. There's two down for Icon. The Zerath coming in huge. Light tears one down as Patch falls. And Ooh. Sam D in a one versus three. Jumping up towards one more Q and finish off the Zerath. Can he finish the kills? In goes the W. Sam D still going strong. Tarzan falls. He's looking to get onto Icon as well. Sam D pushing forward, but the Q lands from Icon. Sam D is looking for a top lane in him right now as Light wants a 1v1. GA in his pocket. Stolen. The they have a way of securing it. It should just be Elder for LNG. Oh, 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 oh my. Needs the Baron. Get started here. Ale has to be the one to face check. He is damn tanky and he can walk into this river to make sure TT know that this won't go for free. Have to back away. Baron resetting once more. TT have to back off. Ale on the bot side. Uh, Langxing, sorry, on the bot side. With TP available. And TT going to restart once more. Yeah, is pretty low on HP right now. And Icon can continue Tarzan's to layer there. damage into the pit. Remember, Elder Dragon in the pocket for LNG. I feel like they need to just force the fight. I want he goes in. Baron taking it. 3v1 Sam D. Maybe they get more off of the play. But now with Baron means TT can start to siege the wave clear coming out from Icon. He's 50 minutes into this game. If you're only just joining us, it's been a long one. And it's all coming to a head. TT desperate for their first series win of the split so far as the mid lane in here. Getting low. TT pushing on the bottom side as well, but they don't have a minion wave. It's finally arriving here. I think the mid lane in here will eventually fall down. Light is on the top side right now, dealing with super minions, which should mean TT can break open these inhibs, push into the base and make things happen. Xiaopong gets the mid inhib. The bot one should go down. Surely this will be the triple inhib for TT as they're just desperate to get one or two more autos in. Icon doing his best to get the poke down. I want forced back to the Nexus. And it means that TT finished the three inhibs. But they're not looking to reset down. I thought they were all going to recall. Oh, Here we go. TP from Ally on the flank. Wants to make the play happen. Can he get the showstopper? Sam D pulled in the wrong direction. The stun's come through. The knockup is going to be there. The zero thought landing and Sam D has gone down. This is the moment for LNG to turn the fight around, to turn the game around and get themselves into this one. Ally trying to chase down a patch. I think for now he is going to back off and they want to look to defend. Mid lane inhibitor tower is going to go down. Damn, yeah, they have I mean, 30 seconds to play with right here. LNG might just be able to close things out right now. LNG pushing in. They're going to get the mid in here. 20 seconds until Sam D's up. Lunching pulled in. Damage coming out from Icon. The front line is tanky from TT. But I don't know them. if it's going to be good enough because they're just focusing on the towers. They might be able to end the game as LNG get onto the Nexus. Oh. And against everything, TT fall at the final hurdle. And LNG remain undefeated in the LPL.